video, I'm going to show you how to clean up a silver coin. I should mention that a lot of serious coin collectors say you should never clean a coin as it could lower its value. But I'm not a coin collector, I'm a bullion collector, and the silver is worth the same amount of money whether it is clean or dirty. I personally prefer my coins to be clean. For the longest time, I wouldn't even buy junk silver coins because I figured if I'm going to put my money into silver coins, I want them to look like they're silver. As you can see, this one is particularly nasty. For a coin this bad, here's what you're going to need. A small bowl to leave the coin in. It should not be made of metal. Some vinegar. Some table salt. Some baking soda. And some kind of brush. The brush should have plastic bristles. Even a toothbrush would work. If the bristles are metal, you'll scratch the heck out of the coin. Okay, a coin this nasty is going to require two different procedures. We'll start by pouring some vinegar into a bowl. Then we mix some salt into it. This will create a mild hydrochloric acid. Sometimes it helps to throw it in the microwave and heat it to boiling. Next, drop in the coin. For one this bad, it will need to soak overnight. Okay, it's been about 10 hours, now it's time to remove the coin. You'll probably notice some of the tarnish will actually rub off onto your fingers at this point. The next thing to do is use the brush and lightly scrub the coin front and back. It's also helpful to scrub the edge of the coin all the way around. You should be able to see a significant improvement already at this stage. But now it's time to move on to the next step. Wet the coin and pour some baking soda on it. Start gently scrubbing it with your brush like this. It might take a while, possibly five minutes. Make sure the baking soda is completely wet. Don't scrub it on there dry. Be sure to get the edge of the coin too. And here's the finished product. Let's do a before and after. Here was the coin before cleaning, and now after. Now you can probably tell that the coin looks scratched, but this is not from cleaning. These are scratches from circulation that were already there. You just couldn't see them through all of the tarnish. If you don't believe me, check out this example, which I also cleaned using the same method. Yeah, I've never really understood the coin collectors who like their coins to be tarnished or toned. I mean, it's kind of like saying, yeah, I'm going to take my car to a car show, but instead of cleaning it all up to look like it's new or possibly repainting it if it's all rusted, I'm just going to bring it up there all rusted. In fact, I, it's like saying I want to have the car covered in rust in order to show and to show how old it is. But um, if I go to a car show to look at old cars, I want the cars to look as much as possible like they did when they're new. And that's how I am with my bullion coins as well. Um, I would say though, if you have a coin that might have some numismatic value to it, um, that is value beyond its, its weight in silver or gold or whatever it is, then I would at least check and find out uh, what that coin is worth if you're planning on selling it uh, and uh, before you clean it. All of the stuff I buy is pretty much worth only its weight in silver, but there are some exceptions to that you run into a coin that might be worth more to somebody else. In which case, if they want to clean it, let them clean it. But um, for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty much pro-cleaning coins.